Hey, this is MassX with a new Bleach Immortal Soul video, and I have my updated 1v1 tier list for everybody. So let's just get right to it. First off, in the God tier, I don't think there's any question anybody would even doubt this one could possibly be the very best 1v1 character, and that is Halloween Nemu. She is an absolute beast on 1v1, just making a mockery of most characters. Second up has been our reigning champ, and that is Armored Urichi. She is just amazing taking those hits. If she goes off for four on that first hit and you're going first with initiative, it is over against most characters. Number three, a phenomenal 1v1 character, and that is Yuki, with her chances to take zero damage, to freeze. She is just an absolute lunatic in 1v1 and a problem. Next, we've got Christmas Orihime. She's been around a while. She's become a little bit more vulnerable to some new characters, but she is still an amazing 1v1 character. Next up is one that I hadn't given much thought to, and I keep seeing her more and more in 1v1, so I loaded mine up, and I gotta say, she is crazy good, and that is Summertime Matsumoto. Her skill set just lends so well to 1v1 with the healing. She does good damage and she's a tank. Really just a strong character. Next up is Christmas Nell. She is becoming quite a beast in 1v1 with her heals. And I gotta say, she's impressive and holds her own even against attack-based characters. You gotta watch out for her. Next up is another strong attack-based character. That's Kazashini for 1v1. He can just rip through some characters. Just does a solid job. Just always make sure you've got initiative and you set him up against a character that you know he will take down. But he can definitely do severe damage to most characters. You throw on a Warsoul that gives him a shield to help protect him, and you are in good shape with him. Next up is Christmas Grimjow, another solid attack-based character that does an insane amount of damage. Next up is an oldie but a goodie. Still in there, still strong, and probably Christmas Orihime's most dreaded opponent, and that is you are Nell. She just, man, if she makes it to her rage skill, oof, it is just going to be deadly. Last is another oldie but goodie. You can't discount this character at all, and that's Vasta Lorde Ichigo. Just an amazing unit. Still holds up and does a great job. For our next tier, our meta tier, we're going to start off with one that's just a great offensive tank, and that is Zokimaru. Just a very well-built designed character that does good damage and can hold its own in 1v1. Next up is our defensive-based Aizen. Another great unit, can cause so many problems with his skill set. Another defensive-based unit is up next, and that's Hanako. She just does well. She tanks well. Um, if you have a unit that's self-healing, it can help. Just a good all-around 1v1 character When if you're looking for those defensive-based characters. Next up is Hiorimaru, another very well-built character that does solid work in 1v1. And next after that, we've got Anniversary Aizen, one of the best offensive units in the game. You can't discount this character, especially if you can get him to trigger off his rage skill. He can do significant damage very quickly. Kind of similar description for Ten Tenza Zangetsu, another solid unit 
attack base that can do significant quick damage to your opponent. One of our newer units clocks in next and that's Muramasa. I see a lot of this character in 1v1, holds up well, um, can really wreak havoc in a 1v1 setting. The next character up is one of my favorite all-around characters we have in the game currently and that's Summertime Gein. He is just an offensive, great skill-based unit. Takes away rage, have a chance to prevent your opponent from hitting you back. Just an all-around solid, solid character. And speaking of rage reduction, or at least slowing down rage recovery, we've got Kitten Kiyokotsu. Another very well-built character, does well in 1v1. And next up, we have our most recent Ichigo, another really strong offensive unit that does very well in 1v1. And then we've got some oldies coming at you. We've got Ukiora version 2 you are a great, great tank. You throw a Sura on him, and if it's a long building match, he just gets stronger and stronger. Very similar to Butterfly Aizen in a lot of ways. Those two characters are great for 1v1 if you know it's going to be a longer type match because they're going to build with you. Next up used to be one of our reigning champions of 1v1 and that is the first version of Aizen. I know a lot of people still don't use him but he is still a great character in 1v1. Is he God tier anymore? No, but can he do some significant damage, especially if you're in the top 64 bracket and are having to build out um, three character teams and are missing somebody and you've got him? Don't discount this character. He is a heavy hitter in 1v1. Next up is Grimjow. It's the second UR of him. He just can do quick, significant damage if you need to break through a particular character um, that gives problems. He is the guy for you. And as I mentioned earlier, Butterfly Eisen, another solid character. Again, you don't want to match him up against somebody that's going to hit you really hard right out of the gate. But if it's, a, if it's going to be a match that you know is going to last a little bit of time, he is the one for you. Last up in the meta round is one that probably gets overlooked a lot, and that's Halibel, the UR. She does good damage, very similar to Butterfly Aizen in Ukiora version 2. It's a builder, and if she can hold herself and stay alive, she is just going to keep beating down your opponent. All right, for the remainder of the tiers, I'm just gonna preface this and just say, I did all characters. I'm gonna continue to do all characters in both my 6v6 tier lists and my 1v1. But honestly, the remaining characters are not ones really recommended to use in 1v1. I tiered them out if you have to use them. Outside of the strong tier, when you start getting into good, and as we'll continue down, Quite honestly, I'm not so sure it's worth it. But I'll give some honorable mentions. Bargon, still a very strong character. Great tank if you need one in 1v1. The Poison, if you can hold that battle out, it, he is going to do some damage. Ukiora version 1 used to be one of the best 1v1 units. Still a solid character, but definitely has dropped back a few steps. The other UR Grimjow is also another good attack-based character. If you're missing some spots and you need an attack-based character, I do recommend that one. Sogyo, I haven't had enough testing with. That's why the twins are in strong. Because of the limitations with testing in 1v1, I don't feel I've got enough time to make a really hard decision on Sogyo. So on our next update, I should have, had, I should have a much, enough time. And at that point, I feel like we could go ahead and give, give the twins a proper spot. Outside of that, Kenze is an, another solid tank, an SSR. So if you're lacking some characters, one to always consider. 
Then when we get into the good tier, not a lot of heavy recommendations. I mean, Shinji's a great character, but he's not built for 1v1. Either is Waidichigo, who's a solid character, or Yamamoto. And, you know, they're workable, but when it gets, starts getting down into the good tier, you're going to probably want to look more to the tank side if you have to use any of them. Um, UR Toshiro can be pretty good because if he gets those freezes off, same with SSR Gein, but again, not ones I highly recommend um, unless you have to fill some holes, but if you do, you know, there are some there. As you can see under serviceable, not really any characters I would highly recommend, quite honestly, for 1v1. And of course, the trash tier. You know, they're not. They're they could be good characters in six v six, but you know, I you everybody knows how much I've been toting the new. I mean, the awakened Unahana as well as the new one, but they are not one v one characters, and they're not going to hold up well at all. Nor is SR or Hime, quite honestly. And so that's why they're down there, not because they're bad characters. It's just when we're talking about a 1v1 setting, they're just not really serviceable or usable characters in that. So again, I go back and say that I would, you know, the ones in the God and Meta tier, if you're able to get have nine of those characters, you're in really good shape. And of course, the more you've got, the more you have for versatility for countering your opponents. All right, well, that wraps up our 1v1 updated tier list for March of 2022. I'm going to try to do a tier list every month and flip-flop back and forth. So in April, if we have enough new characters, I will update the 6v6 and so on. Hope everybody's doing well. Please, as always, like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Have a great week.